to say this to everyone watching. I want to say this to all of you here. Southern California does not belong to the Democrats, to the Republicans, to Hollywood. Southern California belongs to the church. It belongs to us. And we're going to take this region. I don't care what wicked agenda there is over here. I don't care what darkness there is that's surrounding the region. There is no name above the name of Jesus. There is no authority above the authority of the Father. God is really doing something across the globe. He really is. There, there are lives that are being touched across the globe. I don't know if you know this, but there are pockets, what I like to call spiritual wells, all throughout the world, all throughout our nation, where the power of the Holy Spirit is moving. And these wells that are being dug are actually wells that I believe from times past. You think about the great moves of God, like you have Oral Roberts or Catherine Coleman or Amy Simple McPherson or John G. Lake. Or We know not all of them were perfect. In fact, none of them are perfect. None of them are perfect. But we know that God used these lives greatly to impact the world. And I know there are stirrings all over the United States. We've seen them. But we've yet to see, really, for a while, that stirring, that type of overflow revival, that type of move of the Spirit here in Southern California. And, and, and if you'll notice, there's kind of a trend here right now. People are leaving California in droves right now. And I'll have to be honest with you, I was tempted to do the same. I mean, the property values are just... They're, they're a little bit off, wouldn't you say? Here in Southern California, I mean, what, a one-bedroom house? Average, what, you're looking at like $500,000. Over in Texas, I think, I, I was looking at some properties over there. I think like $200,000, $250,000 for like a five-bedroom, four-bedroom, like really nice homes. And don't leave. We want you here in Southern California. <laughs> Somebody clap like, that's it, I'm gone. But no, so I'm looking at the trends. I like to look at the trends as a whole. And one of the trends is that in Southern California, people are fleeing not only because of property values, not only because of the economic situation, but really because the moral decline in this state is really accelerating. So the moral decline is accelerating. Churches are closing up. The, the spirit-filled churches of God are few and far between here in Southern California. And, and what's happening is people are fleeing to different states because they're saying, oh, there's a move of God over there. I'm going to go over there. Oh, there's a move of God over there. Let's move over there. And what they're not realizing is that God wants to send people here to Southern California too. So, I mean, I, I looked around. It's funny because I had a, I had a, a, a pastor ask me the other day. He's a very anointed man of God and just, just a powerful, powerful servant of the Lord. If I said his name, you'd know him, but I won't because I'm not a name dropper. But, but he asked me, he said, David, I want you to do this. I want you to gather some of the most dynamic healing ministries in Southern California, some up and coming evangelists, and I want you to bring them to dinner. And I said, okay. I said, tell me the ones you already know. And he gave me a list of the ones he already knows, which is, it's a, it was about a dozen or so of them. And then I went to go find more on the list, and I realized everybody I could think of was in some other state or some other city or some other place. And I thought, Lord, that, how sad that is that here in Southern California, people are leaving when you want to do something. So, church, I'm making this commitment to you. I am going to, along with you, stay here and dig the wells in Southern California. We're going to dig the wells in Southern California. I don't, I don't want to go where, where everybody already is. That's not how you, that's not how you see a move of God. You, 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 you see a move of God by saying, I'm going to be the one to plow the ground. I'm going to be the one to, to, to get into that, 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 that ground that's hard and follow and dry. And I'm going to be the one to water it and put seeds. And how many will say, I want to be that one? And some of you watching maybe from Southern California. I want you to know this. This is the stirring. This is the beginning of a great move of God here in Southern California. There was about six or 700 people who were able to get in. And we had a line around the block of people, and we had to turn people away. But it's happening here in Southern California. This is it. You're a part of it. 
So this is why we as a ministry have begun to really focus in. Yes, we still travel. Yes, we still do services around the world. But we've really decided to focus in now and say, God, we want to see that move in Southern California. We want to see it in Los Angeles. There is an atmosphere here that we can't even describe. It's electric. There's faith. People in line are saying to us that they could fill it just while they're waiting out in line before the service even begins. They feel the anointing begin to fill the place. And so I want to tell you, you're watching. You're from Southern California. Join this great move of God. So text that number. And Tim, by the way, I still want that graphic up. Text that number. And, and you're going to get text alerts from our ministry every time we have a gathering, which is going to now be once a month. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll start a church. I don't know if we'll do that, but I don't know. I'm an evangelist, so we'll see what God has. Some people always tell me, like, like, like they treat the call of God like there's different levels, like rankings, like generals and colonels and all that. Like, so are, has, are you prepared to be a pastor yet? I'm like, I'm going to be an evangelist the rest of my life. I guess I'm never getting promoted. They're like, oh, you're an evangelist, but when are you going to be a pastor? I'm like, no, this is what God has called me to do. So I'm an evangelist. I'm going to win souls, okay? But... But be a part of it. You're watching live right now. You're from, so even if you're not, I say move down here. You may see trends other places, but it's here. It's always been here. The past hundred years or so of the church, you can look back in history. I saw this, this a pastor friend of mine. His name was uh, Ken, uh, Ken Cornell. Pastor Ken Cornell. He's from Santa Cruz. He might be watching right now. He handed me a book on the history of Southern California. And I don't know if you realize this, but most, not all, most of the great moves of God that swept the nation and the world began in Southern California. But, but see, this is why the enemy is fighting us so hard. This is why, why, why you can see that, that dark agenda that's being pushed on this region. People are saying, oh, well, it's too dark there. I give up. I'm getting out of here. No, no. We're the light. We're going to stay and we're going to change things. I want to say this to everyone watching. I want to say this to all of you here. Southern California does not belong to the Democrats, to the Republicans, to Hollywood. Southern California belongs to the church. It belongs to us. And we're going to take this region. I don't care what wicked agenda there is over here. I don't care what darkness there is that's surrounding the region. There is no name above the name of Jesus. There is no authority above the authority of the Father. You say, but Brother David, Brother David, there, there, there's this spirit and that spirit, perverse spirit and that spirit, and, 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 you know, every demon has a name nowadays, but I don't care what spirit you think has Southern California, because the Holy Spirit will take dominion in this region.